it's a Sunday afternoon today and I'm heading into labs because I need to change some media for some of the stem cells and also set up some bacteria cultures to do some maxi preps tomorrow. So I'll be cycling in today. Let's go. basically stopped by an Asian supermarket just to stock up on some pasta noodles. Let's see if there's anything else here. So I've just arrived in the lab and I'm now in the tissue culture room and I literally just saw a colleague leaving just now as well. But my plan for now is that I need to change some media on the ESL plates so I'll put the media to warm up and in the meantime I'm also going to set up some bacteria cultures so that I can do some maxi preps tomorrow. Whilst I do that the media will be warm enough and then I'll be able to change the media on a number of 10 centimeter and also 6 well, 24 well plates. So I've basically set up a few flasks here with some LB media at the back on Friday evening just so I could do everything quickly in the weekend. Here I've actually set up some tubes to do some mini preps. Unfortunately, the bacteria that we've cloned here, nothing really grew, so won't be doing this, but we'll be doing the maxi preps instead. So for maxi prep cultures, I normally put 400 ml of LB media. So here are some bacteria that I transformed on Friday. As you can see, there are a ton of colonies. I'll just be picking one and growing that in maxi prep. Normally we inoculate it, but because it's the weekend, I just didn't really have time. So. Before I forget, I need to add some antibiotics. So here we have kanamycin, and I'll be adding it uh, 1 in 2,000 dilution. So if we have 400 mils of culture there, I'll be adding 200 microliters. So here I'm just taking out my bacteria plates from Parafilm and I'm going to be using one of these bacteria inoculation loops just to pick one single colony out. So here I basically just pick one that is like a single colony so it shouldn't touch anything nearby because if it does then we can't be sure that the bacteria we're growing is from which colony so we want one that is just a lone ranger. I'm gonna go with maybe this one thing. So the two maxi prep cultures are done. I'll still be keeping my two bacteria plates just in case because you never know what happens. So I'm gonna wrap them up in parafilm and then put them back in the fridge. Yes. Honestly, parafilm is like one of my favorites. All the right settings.
all the cells that need changing media. So I'm going to take them out one by one because some of them require slightly different media supplements. So these cells that I have here have been transfected recently and after a couple of days we need to do a drug selection so we'll be adding curamycin to select for the correctly transfected cells. So I'm just going to check if they're all still looking healthy and alive before I change the media, just in case. When I remove media from ESL plates, I use these wide bore tips. So you can see that at the bottom, it's wider and less sharp compared to the regular tips. And that's because we don't really want to scratch the surface of these ESLs. And these are also autoclaved just to make sure there's no, any, no contamination. So yeah, we'll be using these and a new tip for each of the 10 centimeter plates.